The siphon tube runs from the valve down into the cylinder. The firefighting chemical goes up this tube, then out the nozzle. The compressed air inside the cylinder is what propels the chemical. This gauge shows if the pressure is sufficient for this to happen. After coating the gauge's threaded stem with sealant to prevent leaks, they screw it onto the valve. The valve unit is now fully assembled, tested, and ready for installation on top of the cylinder. To attach it, the cylinder needs a threaded collar. With the help of a press, a worker positions it. The cylinder also needs a bottom. The technique the factory uses to permanently fuse the bottom and collar is called brazing. It's similar to soldering, but with a copper ring as a bonding metal. After positioning a brazing ring at the base of the open cylinder, they press in a steel bottom. Then they position a brazing ring over the collar. Now into a brazing furnace for an hour and 45 minutes. The heat, 1100 degrees Celsius, melts the two copper rings, bonding the parts they connect. Next stop, the static paint booth, where they run a positive electrical charge to the paint particles and a negative charge to the cylinders. This draws the paint onto the surface evenly. Then it's into an oven for 45 minutes to bake the paint. Once the cylinders cool, automated machinery fills them with a fire extinguishing powder. The main ingredient is a form of ammonia. When you spray it on a fire, the heat melts the particles, fusing them into an oxygen blocking blanket that smothers the flames. After filling, an automated machine screws a valve onto the collar of each cylinder. Now it's time to pressurize the cylinder. They squeeze the lever to open the valve, enabling a compressor to fill the cylinder with air. They keep filling until the air pressure is 13 bars, about six times the pressure in a car tire. Next, they screw on the nozzle and install a locking pin. This immobilizes the lever, so the extinguisher can't discharge accidentally. As the instruction sticker says, in case of fire, you just pull the pin, aim, and spray. This mounting bracket lets you hang the fire extinguisher in an accessible spot, so it's close at hand if you need it.